she took off her shawl. The cloth of her dress seemed thin and shabby like gauze. In an instant, my strong mama changed into someone small and weak. I wanted to cover her up. The man rubbed his dirt-caked neck, leaving a clean streak of olive flesh. Then he took us down a ladder. We stepped off at the first inside deck, but the ladder kept going down. Oh, hide in the dark, boy. Pass those barrels and boxes. Don't make a peep till you feel the sea moving under you. Even then, wait a full hour before you come up. Promise. I looked at Mama. She nodded. I promise. I took Mama's hand to lead her to the right spot, but he slapped my hand away. Your mother has to hide in a different spot for safety. Hurry up now. Go. My eyes stung. I blinked hard. This was nothing, nothing at all compared to being in the grotto under the convent with the body and the rats. This was simple. I felt my way into the dark. When I looked back, Mama and the man no longer stood in the circle of light that came in above the ladder. I went farther. Finally, I sat. But the floorboards were wet. They smelled of vinegar. So I climbed onto a barrel lid. Other smells came at me. Machine oils and salted foods and wine and olive oil. And strangest of all, hay. Soon, men climbed up and down the ladder, disappearing below or above, mercifully not stopping on this deck. My skin prickled, but I didn't rub my arms. My bottom went numb from not changing position, but I didn't flinch. My tongue felt fat against the roof of my mouth, but I didn't open my jaw. There were noises from the deck above, as though hundreds of people were up there. And there were quiet sounds, too, now and then, in the dark nearby. The labored breathing of a frightened person. Mama. I wanted to call out to her, but I had promised not to. After a while, scraping sounds came from the deck below. Then the whoosh of fire and the roar of the steam engine. I heard a clank, and all light ceased. Only babies were afraid of the dark. A horn blasted over and over, and I felt the movement of the sea. We were going. Going to America. I waited in the dark. More than an hour. It had to be more. I waited in the heat that grew until I was drenched with sweat. Then I whispered, Mama? <laughs>